Hi there. Hope everyone's doing well. This side, Tanvi with you. And today, we will learn how to assign the module quality loss and LID losses in PVSYST. We have covered all the loss components of PVSYST in this series. Link is there in the description. Please watch other videos in this series as well to have a complete idea on PV system losses. And for the new viewer who are here for the first time, please hit the subscribe and like button. We will keep bringing such useful and resourceful content to you every week. So, please please subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified. Thank you guys for your support so far. Your likes and comments meant a lot for us. So, let's start. First, we will discuss about the module quality loss. So, basically, in today's scenario, this is in fact, a game. Let me tell you how. 5 to 7 years back, most of the modules were available with a label called, the power tolerance. This means the module of 100 watt peak could never be 100 watt peak. It's either be lesser, or higher than 100 watt peak. And the range was mostly in plus minus of 5%. So, 100 watt peak module can be either 95 watt peak or 105 watt peak in extreme case. Here is an example from an old module data sheet. Nowadays, all the modules come with positive power tolerance. This has become the standard now. So, if you buy a 400 watt peak module today, the power tested at STC will be always higher than 400 watt peak. But, the percentage of positive tolerance is very low. Usually it lies at max of 5 watts from the module's rated power. So, ranging from 1 watt to 5 watts usually. Now, when you buy a number of modules from a manufacturer, they usually provide flash test reports of all the modules. Which includes all the electrical parameters like short circuit current, open circuit voltage, operating current, voltage and peak power at standard test condition or STC. From this report, you will get all the module's actual peak power. Just derive the average value of peak power for the supplied modules and get the percentage gain. That's your module quality loss factor for PV PVSYST. Or, if you are at the initial stage of the design, then check the default option or set the value at minus 0.4%. That's the standard value you will get in most of the cases. Next is LID loss or light induced degradation. So, LID is basically a loss of performances arising in the very first hours of exposition to the sun with crystalline modules. So, this loss is effective for the first time exposure and you can say that it starts as soon as you complete the stringing of modules. Interestingly, you'll get this loss value in most of the modules data sheet. And the value is almost same for all the new modules available in today's market. By default, PV PVSYST consider this as 2%, but if you look into data sheets, it will be around 1.8% at max. So, we are assigning the value here of LID loss as 1.8%. After the simulation, you can locate the module quality loss and LID loss here in the loss diagram of the simulation report. The first one, shown with a positive sign, represents the module quality loss value. It's shown with positive sign because, as I mentioned earlier, that nowadays, all the modules come with positive power tolerance. So, it's always a positive gain in terms of power watt peak. The next one, here, it's showing the LID loss details in percentage. So, that's it for today guys. Hope you get a good idea of LID loss and module quality loss in PV PVSYST. In our next session, we will be discussing the yearly module power degradation and how to assign it in PV PVSYST before the energy simulation. So keep subscribed and enjoy the learning process. Do not forget to like, comment and share the session. To follow our channel Minutes to Energy on YouTube and Instagram for more upcoming and interesting videos on solar PV system. Like how to start a solar business, how to design solar PV system and solar panel manufacturing process. Thanks for watching. See you in the next session.